Yes guys, welcome back to another episode of the Monoposto 2023 Track Guide Series and today we have landed in Brazil for the Sao Paulo Grand Prix or Interlagos or the Jose Carlos Pache circuit. Now this is episode number 22 which means there are only two tracks remaining after today's video at Las Vegas and Abu Dhabi. So hopefully within the next week we'll get those nicely finished off so then we have a complete set of track guides for this game and then we can move very nicely on to career mode resuming. So yeah the Brazil Grand Prix is an iconic track home to many world champions of course Brazil and has produced some fantastic races in the past so be sure to subscribe if you're looking forward to this review and let's get straight on with the rest of the video starting in the pit lane now into Lagos to be honest I tend to use a fair amount of downforce I have very much in the middle in terms of my wing setup on the slider so you probably want to have it between the S at the end of wings and the S at the start of setup just between the two words there. As I said, brake balance and suspension, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. You can make a note of the settings I used if you want to, or you can just adjust it. It's all very much based on personal preference, but these are just the settings I used for my hot lap video today. Now then, as you're starting the lap at Brazil, this is the final braking zone. Jun Sao, of course, is that Glock. Very much an iconic moment in Formula 1. You just get on the power straight away, up into ERS straight away, use the full extent of the track and just take the path of least resistance all the way around here. You can come across this curb, use this runoff, extend the track as much as you like, open up DRS only now as you cross the start finish line, then disable ERS and prepare for the straight line braking in towards turn one, the Senna S. Now it's 100 meter braking and I will stress it's really important that you don't brake later than that, especially if you're using ERS. To be honest, this is a really, really hard corner to get right. If you brake too late, you can risk oversteering and then just spinning off onto the track. If you want to nicely make the corner and hook up the apex, you've just got to brake at the 100 meter board. That's just the way it is if you're using no assists like I am. I would always try and teach my videos with no assists because that's just the best way to drive because otherwise you get slowed down. As you can see, you can just bump off that curb there, use a bit of that green runoff on the left hand side if you want to and immediately on the exit up into ERS, open up DRS now and this the blast all the way down the Decida de Lago down towards the next corner. Now once again this is a very very tight long left-hander a lot tighter than it is in real life and if you break too late you risk running really wide and you can easily clip that wall. It really kind of springs up on you so it's really important to break earlier and get a better exit I find at quite a lot of the corners on this track. Maybe just it's something to do with the lot more drastic elevation change or sharper elevation change rather than smoother gradients. You can use some of that runoff if you really do need to run wide on the exit of that corner that's fine although I didn't in my hot lap. Use this blue runoff here though because that helps just trying to take a sh slightly shorter line as you're approaching this this double right this is just still keep on the power it's easy to come out wide here so you can use the blue runoff on the entry to this corner now there's no set braking zone use the curb on the inside if you want to just brush off it and then as you're coming through the twisty middle sector it's all guesswork about braking so you just there's one dab on the brakes between these corners then you straight back on the power and this is the next corner here this is really really difficult because it's completely blind as you can see it's a blind right hander and there's like a little divot in the track that you really want to make sure you be careful of so it's very very easy to steer in way too late and then just come straight off the circuit so you want to make sure that as soon as you see the blue runoff come in you just break you can run it's very easy to run a bit deep I think I did in my lap but to be honest that doesn't really cost you any time whatsoever that's what I find is the kind of the best line I've just showed you through that corner then once you've come on the exit you can go straight up into ERS if you've got any left and then you just follow it all the way around here back towards the final break zone again to be honest I wouldn't run over the curb on the right hand side however you want to be absolutely full send into the final corner just completely throw the car in be as aggressive as possible bounce off that curb on the inside and use the full extent of the track limits on the exit and then once again path of least resistance this is following all the way up towards the finish line really narrowly missing the pit entry wall there 
opening up DRS and ERS all the way running to the line. And that is the end of a lap of Interlagos. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. Feel free to leave any comments down below and I will be sure to get back to you as again. I appreciate I've gone through it fairly quickly, but it's a fairly short lap. Nevertheless, thanks for watching. See you next time.